friends, this is Jeff from Cantech Support, and today we're going to take a look at how to create access levels. So first of all, we're going to take a look at a small reminder on how to create a new schedule, and then we will view how to create a new access level. And then once that's done, we're going to take a look at typical messages when we swipe a card. And then we're going to add a new card and we will assign it an access level. And finally, we will take a look at changing a schedule inside an already existing access level. Okay, let's start with our reminder on how to create a new schedule. To do that, you would want to go to Definition, Schedule. Then you click the New button at the top left. And then give it a name. We're going to call this one Test Access Level. Now, the start time, we're going to start it at uh, 9 a.m., and we will finish at 5 p.m., so that's 1,700. Remember, we use military time. Now, I will check the checkboxes for all days of the week, except for Monday. And since today is Monday, this will allow us to see uh, different access messages when we try to swipe the card. And now we're going to take a look at how to create a new access level. So we would want to go to Users, Access Level. You'll see there's one that's already built in there, Always Valid All Doors. And this will give the user access to any of the doors all the time. Now let's do a quick sidebar for people that are doing elevator control and cannot see the floor groups in the access level. This means you've got to check the door as being an elevator cab. So you want to go to de devices door and check that checkbox. And then if we go back to users and access level, you can see the floor group now appears in the access levels. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a new access level. I'll call it main access. And then for each door, we're going to select a schedule. Now, um, I can select the test access level schedule, which would be all days of the week, 9 to 5, except for Monday. But to change things around, you know, let's select none for the server room door. So then user will not have access to that door at all. And we're going to select always valid for the back entrance, which means that the user would have access to that door all the time. All right, so then once we're done, we can go ahead and save and then close this. And now let's take a look at some typical messages when we swipe a card. So let's swipe the card at the different readers. As you can see, the card has not been added in the system yet, so we are getting access denied card unknown. Now let me show you a pro tip. To add the card, you would right-click on the event, select Edit, and then Card, and that creates a new user with the card number already populated in there. Okay, we're not going to save this right now because we're going to add the card a little bit later. And how about adding a new card and assigning it a new access level? So, to create the card, we're going to go to Users Card, click New. Let's give it a name. Let's call this one Jeff. And then we would populate the card number. Okay, and once the card number has been populated, we want to go to the Access Level tab and give it an access level. So we're going to give it our main access, access level. And then let's go ahead and save. Take a quick look to review our main access access level and then we're going to try and swipe our card to the different doors. Now, as you can see, we're still getting access denied bad access level because remember, this is a Monday, so this main access level doesn't allow access on those doors on a Monday, yet on the back entrance door, we are getting access. 
Now, how about changing a schedule in an access level? Let's go to Definition, Schedule, and let's select our Test Access Level Schedule. And this time, we're going to add Monday back in there. And then we're going to go ahead and save. And now let's swipe our card again. As you can see, we're getting access granted on the first door. Second door access denied because we don't have that door. We don't have a schedule associated to that door. And all other doors are getting access granted. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.